As the night descends, Bryn, our protagonist, retreats to her solitary bedroom. The young girl drifts into a peaceful slumber, oblivious to the mysterious play of lights flickering on and off throughout the house. A peculiar sound emanating from the street jolts Bryn awake. She attempts to peer through the window, seeking the source of the disturbance, yet finding no one, she descends the stairs, only to discover an absence of electricity. To compound her fear, the front door stands ajar and unsettling sounds emerge from below. Subsequently, an unseen force traverses the first floor, intensifying Bryn's anxiety. Despite her inclination to return to the safety of her bedroom, the aged staircase betrays her presence with its creaks, drawing the attention of an enigmatic entity. Startled, Bryn slips off her slippers and freezes momentarily before cautiously retreating. However, the creature senses her, prompting Bryn to sprint back to her bedroom. The absurdity of the creature's bald head ascending the stairs becomes evident. Desperate to defend herself, Bryn seizes a suitcase from beneath the bed, freezing in terror at an inadvertent noise. Suddenly, the creature's swift footsteps resonate from the corridor, penetrating her bedroom as it swings open. Bryn conceals herself behind the bed, absorbing the otherworldly sounds within the room. The alien scrutinizes the surroundings before leaping onto the bed where Bryn hides. Unable to locate the girl, the perplexed alien descends to the floor. In terror, Bryn glimpses the alien's paws mere inches away. After a brief pause filled with eerie sounds, the alien leaps out the window, leaving the bewildered girl to scrutinize an empty lawn. Armed with a curling iron, Bryn descends, slamming the front door shut. However, all electronic devices spring to life simultaneously. Bryn deactivates the player and dims the glowing toys, realizing an unwelcome presence in the house. Efforts to summon help through, the phony are thwarted by an absence of signal. Suddenly, the refrigerator doors autonomously swing open, eliciting a terrified scream from Bryn. She races towards the stairs, encountering a nightmarish alien with elongated legs descending. Bryn squeezes into the narrow space between the table and the refrigerator. Abruptly, silence pervades the scene. Bryn catches her breath, straining her eyes to discern the telephone receiver, seized by an inhuman hand. A scream erupts from Bryn as the refrigerator door swings open, concealing the alien. Sinister hands grasp the door, and the alien's face emerges. Bryn shoves the door aside, sprinting towards the stairs. Electricity flickers, accompanying an inhuman howl, as she collides with the railings plummeting to the floor. Crawling into the room, Bryn witnesses the overturning of the table before an unseen force lifts her into the air. Face to face with her pursuer, she strikes the alien with a toy fragment, causing it to collapse lifeless. Bryn retreats in horror, leaving a chilling encounter etched in the night. Seated in a daze until the break of dawn, the girl finds solace as the sun rises, infusing her with newfound strength. The pain coursing through her wounded legs prompts her to carefully extract the glass shards embedded during the night. The lifeless form of the alien sprawls on the floor, a sight too dreadful for Bryn to confront, prompting her to shroud it beneath a blanket. Desperation sets in as the girl attempts to summon help through a silent phone and grapples with the absence of electricity. Venturing outside, she discovers her car refusing to start. Undeterred, Bryn retraces her steps, taking refuge in the cleansing embrace of a shower, washing away the remnants of blood. Collecting herself, she embarks on a journey to seek aid in the town. On the way, she sees an overturned mail van and, finding no one inside, tries to ask for help from the residents of the neighboring house. But she also sees scorched circles on their lawn and passes them by. Soon, Bryn reaches the town, but upon entering the police station, she bumps into the police chief and his wife, who suddenly spits in Bryn's face. No police officers rush to her aid. A distressed Bryn recalls how just yesterday morning she woke up in a wonderful mood, despite leading a secluded life on the outskirts of M. River Town. Bryn tried not to despair. She made toy houses, sewed new outfits for herself, took care of the lawn where strange circles had appeared the day before. Although, after one past incident, the town's people did not communicate with her, Bren was free to come to town 
send parcels, and visit her mother's grave. Yet her past, marked by an incident that isolated her from the townspeople, did not hinder her freedom to visit town, send parcels, and pay respects at her mother's grave. In a poignant letter to her best friend Maud penned the day before, Bryn shared glimpses of seeing her parents and celebrated the arrival of a long-awaited package with wine and a delightful dinner. Now deserted by the very community she reached out to for aid, Bryn wanders the town in search of a solution, a serendipitous encounter with a bus prompts here to make a crucial decision, leaving the town to fence sanctuary. Just as she begins to feel a semblance of safety, bubbling sounds signal an impending attack by the local postman, now under alien influence. Fending off the postman, Bryn escapes the bus, finding herself near the church in a desperate quest for help. The once hopeful sight turns grim as she realizes Maud's tragically short-lived existence, lasting only 12 years. Clouds gather ominously as Bryn hurries back home, only to witness townspeople on a neighboring plot reaching out to the sky, unaware that their bodies have become vessels for alien entities. In this eerie revelation, Bryn confronts the grim reality that her home may harbor secrets far more sinister than she ever imagined. The lifeless extraterrestrial still rests in her hallway, emitting a putrid stench, and a moist trail extends to the exit, hinting at something emerging from its remains onto the street. Despite Bryn's efforts to locate this mysterious creature, her search proves futile. Summoning her inner strength, she initiates a strategic plan, illuminating the entire house with candles, placing pots of water on the stove, and securing every possible item as a makeshift weapon. Windows and doors are barricaded from the inside, yet an unforeseen event unfolds as the secured nails inexplicably start dislodging themselves. A luminous burst outside heralds the levitation of the alien's lifeless form, which gracefully floats out through the door. Concealing herself, Bryn detects an intruder sneaking into her house. An alien enters, prompting her to seek refuge. Arming herself with scissors, she faces the extraterrestrial directly in the kitchen. Bryn seizes a photograph of her and Maud, an object of sentimental value, only to have it snatched away by the alien for closer examination. Swiftly escaping, she encounters a more malevolent and diminutive alien. Engaging in a desperate struggle, Bryn bites its arm, provoking further anger. The arrival of a spacecraft's beam outside the window seizes Bryn's weapon, an iron ladle pulling it towards the luminous source. Left unarmed, she cautiously retreats into the bathroom, securing the door. Despite her efforts, the alien breaches the door, initiating an attack. Armed with a mop, Bryn counters the assault, using the stick as a makeshift spear, pinning the alien to a cupboard. Liberation finally comes, as she manages to escape. Outdoors, she encounters another fallen alien and falls into the clutches of the postman, now under alien influence. Dragged towards the alien saucer, Bryn avoids capture by pushing the postman into a beam of light, causing his disintegration. Fleeing from a gigantic spider-like alien, she seeks refuge in a car and ingeniously sets it ablaze, successfully eliminating the monstrous threat. A sense of triumph envelops her for the first time. Yet a subsequent beam descends from above, prompting Bryn to seek refuge in her home. A new alien enters, confronting her near a wall adorned with photographs. Despite her attempts to resist, the alien effortlessly tosses her through the wall, Outside the window, a paralyzing beam ensnares her, allowing the alien to emit a parasite that invades Bryn's mouth. Upon awakening, Bryn finds herself in bed with the sun shining, her house restored to normalcy. Touching her face, she realizes that the harrowing ordeal was nothing but a dream. Laughter from children outside brings solace, and descending the stairs, she encounters her living friend, Maud. In this surreal moment, Bryn comprehends the illusory nature of the experience. At this moment, she grasps the unreality of it all, and resolute, she extracts the parasite from her throat. The sun swiftly vanishes, and Bryn finds herself on the lawn in front of her house. The parasite scurries away, ensnared by a spaceship's beam. In the luminous glow, Bryn witnesses her clone materializing in the beam, 
propelling her into the woods where she must confront her doppelganger, the alien. Bryn stabs the real Bryn with a knife, to which she responds by cutting the clone's throat with a box cutter. However, the girl's torment persists as she becomes ensnared once more in the tractor beam, transported inside the alien spacecraft, immobilized. Observing her memories, including the creation of a city model with her late mother, unravels the reason behind the town's avoidance of Bryn. A childhood dispute led her to inadvertently strike Maud, the police chief's daughter, with a fatal blow to the head using a rock. The aliens observe as Bryn faces her younger self, composing letters of apology to her old friend. Adult Bryn compassionately places her hand on the girls, finally acknowledging the deep-seated childhood trauma. It appears she is now prepared to move beyond it. Acknowledging this growth, the aliens release her. Regaining consciousness on the lawn by her house, she realizes the liberation from the lingering psychological torment that haunted her for years. The following day, an adorned Bryn ventures into town, revealing that the aliens have implanted parasites in all the planet's inhabitants. Unaware of the extraterrestrial invasion, people believe they are residing in paradise. In reality, Earth has fallen prey to the alien incursion, and the apocalypse has transpired. In the evening, Bryn appears happier than ever, partaking in joyous dances with other townsfolk. Effectively immersed in the utopian city she envisioned with her mother, people revel in blissful unawareness, oblivious to the hovering spaceships signaling the triumphant success of the invasion.